Hello family, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otto's vlog. Please follow me on Facebook and like my page and on YouTube, hit the button that says subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And if you're a returning fan, follower, well, we shall love her. Thank you so much for coming back. I really, really love and appreciate you. So in today's edition, we are going to be discussing something that is very, very important and it's meant for adults. Okay? So we are going to be discussing about ginger, the benefits of ginger in remedying erectile dysfunction. How can intake of ginger help you to minimize erectile dysfunction? So in other words, we need to know what is erectile dysfunction. So it is the inability to achieve, sustain and maintain penal erection sufficient enough for sexual satisfaction or sexual performance. Okay. So this is different from impotence. Sometimes people interchange erectile dysfunction and impotence. These two are totally different. In other words, impotence is lack of desire, lack of sexual drive to even go to it. While erectile dysfunction is like you have the desire, but you cannot perform. It doesn't get up. Neither can you sustain it to be able to are uh, firm enough to have that satisfaction that comes with it so in other words it ends along the way okay seek your doctor's help before you take any herb or medicinal supplement all these things are considered medicine so seek the advice of your primary care provider before you embark on this again this is remedy it's not a cure what are the benefits of ginger when it comes to erectile dysfunction so i went to the store the other day and i bought myself some ginger i always have ginger in my refrigerator because i just like the taste in stew yam porridge jello fries so ginger is a very good exotic herb and it tastes so nice as well but again be careful how you eat it because um it is it can be spicy hot and it can also affect your gi that's your gastrointestinal organs so we are being uh, encouraged to eat at least three to four grams of ginger on daily basis so size so do not eat more than this if you're pregnant eat lesser than this okay because it's not good for your intestine if you eat a whole lot uh, and again some people chew it raw I don't encourage that because it's spicy hot okay so how does eating ginger improve erectile dysfunction ginger as a herb improved testosterone so we're going to be breaking this words to a layman's understanding so testosterone is a hormone that uh that is responsible for sex drive and production of sperm in men okay of course so this hormone is traditionally seen uh very to be very low in people who have erectile dysfunction so eating ginger will boost the level and that will increase your drive of uh sexual desire okay so ginger has been seen traditionally uh used as aphrodisiac so people don't know where well, aphrodisiacs are food or herbs or things that increases sexual drive that makes people want to go do okay so it's been seen to be used to treat erectile dysfunction so it increases blood flow to the penis and reduces body weight so according to university of jordan science and technology the study that they shows that the level of luteinizing hormone this hormone causes testicles to produce more testosterone so it's been seen that eating ginger as a dietary supplement will increase the production of luteinizing hormone which in turn increases the production of testosterone which is the primary sex drive in men so that was when ginger is eaten at a recommended level on daily basis it will increase the luteinizing hormone which in turn stimulates the production of testosterone which is the sex drive hormone so again it will increase it if you have a low one it will increase it to normal level or even a little higher so testosterone production or normal level increases the erectile uh, functioning a man has my second point here is that ginger normalizes the blood glucose so according to studies that have been done men that have 
type 2 diabetes have been shown to be at a greatest risk of testosterone deficiency. Ginger has been proven to fight against type 2 diabetes by allowing glucose to be absorbed into the muscle cells without using insulin. So whenever your blood sugar or blood glucose is being addressed, that means you, you the, the, the testosterone level stabilizes and increases. In other words, it will increase in return the blood flow to the penal areas which will increase the level of erection one gets and how the person sustains it because it's reduced to normal and again this will increase the erectile functioning and sustenance during intimacy in people with type 2 diabetes number three point is that ginger increases blood flow in the testicles so ginger contains a great level of minerals such as magnesium chromium and zinc so these minerals help to promote blood circulation in the system especially in the penal area so you know when there is enough blood flow into the sexual organ of a man that's when erection takes place and this is can this can help it to sustain and maintain erection during sexual intimacy between spouses okay so in other words ginger increases blood flow into the testicles in a pun into the penis causing it to erect my number four ginger increases nitric oxide so this is a molecule that is responsible for the dilation of that mm -hmm, okay so nitric oxide is a vasodilator which helps to dilate the blood vessels and improve blood circulation capacity in that area the volume of blood circulation in that area will increase so eating of ginger will increase the level of the nitric oxide in your your blood so in other words one have to have this nitric oxide to be able to have and sustain erection so when you eat this ginger it helps to increase the level of nitric oxide in your system which is a vasodilator so this vasodilator relaxes the muscles in your penis areas when this is relaxed it will increase the blood flow into that department causing it to erect and sustain erection to maintain to be able to have a sexual satisfaction so in summary nitric oxide is the principal agent responsible for the realization of the penis smooth muscles okay so it is a physiologic signal essential to the penis erection so this nitric oxide will signal your penis that the time have come it's time for it to relax and let the blood flow into it and also make it to stand okay yeah number five which is the summary of everything ginger injection at the right amount three to four grams per day increases the man's sexual drive okay so in other words because we have also we have already discussed that ginger injection increases the level of testosterone so when your level of testosterone is at the high level normal level okay it will increase the sexual drive in other words so so the production of testosterone will increase when you eat a normal level of ginger on daily basis so when this testosterone is at the right level it will increase your sex drive so some people don't sleep well which might contribute to erectile dysfunction so injection of ginger will also increase how you sleep how well you relax when you sleep and it will also reduce the level of constant irritability at home takashi all the time it will help you to relax all these anxiety issues ginger will help you to calm down so in other words when you calm down the other aspect of action will take place will increase and you'll be happy at the end of the day so in other words when low level of testosterone run is addressed you will sleep better your sexual drive will increase your irritability will also decrease it will relax you better so since time in memory ginger has been used as an aphrodisiac so in other words people have been eating ginger without knowing this other aspect of of benefit of ginger so it has helped to enhance blood flow to the penis and also improve sexual experiences of couples okay so i hope you have learned one or two things through these things again if you have 
major erectile dysfunction, go and see your doctor and they will also assist you in so many other uh, areas that you might need medically. But what I have discussed here is more like home remedy. So this will help you, but it's not going to cure the problem you have. It might minimize your problem. But again, let's do this and see how it comes out. Some people might have a better result, a good result. But again, it depends on what is causing your erectile dysfunction. Okay? So thank you so much for watching another beautiful edition of Annie Otto's vlog. Please help me to share, like, and comment on this video. Thank you everyone that have been commenting. I know some people have been reading and passing on and all the stuff. Please thank you so much for commenting or inboxing me or reaching out in one way or the other. So thank you so much for watching another beautiful edition of Annie Otto's vlog. I love you guys. Please stay safe. Bye. Bye, guys.